One of the young men that I dealt with who has uh, Down syndrome and has always been very quiet, he came up to me one day and he said that he was going to his cousin's wedding and he was keen to make a speech at the wedding. I've gone, that's great, that's a great thing to do. Let's practice that. So turns up to the wedding and his parents recount the story to me. They had a few uncles with a few beers, uh, you know, get up and do a few toasts. And then the MC said, does anyone else want to say anything about the bride and groom? And this hand went up in the back of the room. And they said, right, get that gentleman a microphone. And he gets up and he tells a story about how his cousin, who's the groom, looks after him when he's a child and helps him get through the, the playground and uh, stops him from being bullied uh, with kids at school. And what a, a fantastic experience it was growing up with him over the years that they were children. The whole of the auditorium gets up and then they give him a standing ovation. He sits down and goes, okay, when's, uh, when's dessert coming? And his parents turn and look at him and go, what happened here? Who is this child? What has he been able to do? And his parents come up to me uh, the week later and tell me this story and there's just tears in their eyes. And um, it's uh, stories like that that um, the parents and carers tell me about the impact um, that we have on these young people, which is, um, makes me continue on with the program.